uh, an introduction to statistical learning is a collection of modern statistical methods for modeling and making predictions from real world data so we use real world data uh, and uh, it is a middle way between theoretical statistics and the practice of applying statistics uh, to real world problems so it, it can be considered as a user manual with self-container R labs which led to uh, you through the use of different methods for applying statistical analysis to different kinds of data. It's quite a nice book, and uh, but I've asked, uh, what is statistical learning? Because you, you think about statistics, you are going through a statistics book, but this is exactly a term which is, has been uh, very well defined within the data science world. So the, the statistical learning is the theoretical foundation for machine learning framework. It makes connection between the field of statistics and functional analysis. And in particular, the statistical learning theory deals with the problem of finding a predictive function based on data. And this is what is best known as, as a supervised learning. But we, uh, when we go uh, through the book, we do more than this. So we do, do not stop at the theory, which is uh, the foundation of the book, but um, the book expands uh, into more practical um, uh, uh, analysis. So we'll see more than just theory, uh, as we will deal with unsupervised learning as well as well as making practical applications. There are some uh, uh, interesting resources. Uh, this is the... Uh, this is the, um, the website uh, of the book. Um, there are some, some information about the authors. Uh, and everything, the, the first edition, the second edition, we, we do the second edition, which is the, the one, uh, which is the, the most updated one. Uh, it's the, from the, the 4th of August, 2021, uh, so uh, absolutely recent. And um, uh, there are extra resources such as online course uh, and uh, revisiting of uh, errata courage and reviews of the book as well, which are um, quite um, informative about the content and uh, how the, the students uh, uh, see uh, about the book. And there is a forum as well where you can log in and ask questions and post your, I don't know, um, um, anything that you think uh, would be nice to, to have a, a discussion uh, with. And then, so the PDF of the book, uh, the course on edX, I don't know if you have seen it. Uh, this is um, even uh, nice. And you can uh, actually, they, they, they lead you through some of the chapters, not all of the chapters in the second edition, but um, uh, the, this is what you will learn. And, and this is provided, uh, it's a free course, and then you can uh, um, do um, act as an auditor of the course. Uh, or maybe apply for the, the full uh, um, verification. Then there is a, a YouTube channel with all the uh, the videos by the authors, uh, which I, I guess are the, the same ones from the, the edX course. And you have here this data science analytic analytics uh, YouTube channel with all the things, uh, um, all the chapters. 
And then there's some exercise solutions uh, still by the authors, but these are uh, because this book has uh, uh, two types of exercises. Uh, one are um, like theoretical ones, and the other ones are applied uh, exercises. So these are the, the applied exercises, and you find the solution here. If you want the, the whole, uh, the, the whole content, you can uh, have the, the book here. Uh, I believe so that mm, there. Are, I believe that there are some uh, free other free resources available with with even the theoretical exercises already done. There's there is something uh, in the channel as well. Uh, this is the package. Um, the uh, introduction statistical learning second edition package from Cran. Uh, so you can see what uh, is inside. Uh, what is inside and, uh, and, the, and various topics. Uh, and uh, these are the data sets available and all the explanations. So wh what else? Uh, uh, we can say it's more it's very important uh, so the the authors started with uh, the elements of statistical learning uh, and uh, this is uh, the theory uh, of the statistical learning so this require a bit more it's less practical as a book so it's more mathematical think uh, um, and uh, um, so but this might might be useful if you want to if you need some some extra resources so what's uh, what is covered in the book the book provides a series of toolkits classified as supervised or unsupervised techniques for understanding data uh, this the the one that we go through uh, is the second addiction uh, and the difference between the the two addiction is that uh, the first addiction had a sparse method for classification regression, decision tree boosting, support vector machines and clustering. And then the second addiction added some uh, more updated uh, um, statistical learning uh, techniques uh, such as deep learning, survival analysis, multiple testing, naive bias and generalized linear models. Bison additive regression trees and matrix completion. How is the book divided? So the book is divided in 13 chapters and um, the introduction is just what I'm doing today and the second chapter is um, about an introduction on the significance of statistical learning um, what is supervised versus unsupervised learning, regression versus classification. Um, so more the, the first two are more introductory chapters. Then the rest of the book is divided by two main sections, uh, linear statistical learning and non-linear statistical learning. So the first part, uh, which is linear, uh, includes linear regression, classification, resampling methods, linear model selections, and regularization. So all the things that like stepwise selection, re regression, principal components, regression, uh, and the last one. Then the second part is nonlinear. And moving beyond the linearity, it's a bit of um, um, an expansion of polynomial regression, regression spline, smoothing spline, local regression, and generalized additive models. And then there is a tree based method with all the things that are um, related with decision trees, bagging, random forest, boosting, bison, and then supporting vector machine. Deep learning, survival analysis, and sensory data, and supervised learning, which is the, uh, let's say, uh, the, the the bit that it's like you analyze uh, a matrix of di of data. You are not considering 
the outcome of your data so you are not uh, your object your final objective objective is not to predict something uh, so you do not have uh, uh, an outcome to look at but you have just a matrix of uh, numbers of data uh, um, in this case you make a principal component analysis k-means clustering a hierarchical clustering and then the last chapter is this multiple testing I, I guess makes like uh, uses different techniques that have been presented in the book each chapter uh, as a self-container R lab that means that if you don't do it it's not nothing happened so they are not uh, connected to each other the data set used in the in the book uh, to give you an example uh, I use it to identify for example that there's many problem in real life that uh, statistical learning would be uh, very useful to understand um, predict uh, and uh, analyze this for, for analyzing this data so for example if, if you are relating with cancer and you think you need to understand a bit more about uh, the data that you have about this um, uh, in this the, um, this type of data and you want to understand them so you may want to identify the risk factors for example for some type of cancer so all the techniques uh, uh, that uh, you you will uh, grab from the book would be able to let you understand this type of uh, analysis so if you want for example predict whether someone will have an heart attack on the basis of demographic uh, diet and clinical measurements or if you want to email spam detection you want to understand a bit more about that or you need to classify a tissue sample into one of several cancer classes based on a gene expression profile and uh, still for example establish the relationship between salary and demographics variable in population survey data there's many uh, real world applications of these techniques that are the foundation for machine learning. This uh, is one of the um, presentation of the authors, um, which uh, um, you'll find um, in the website. Uh, this is the package. So the data set provided, um, you find all the data set that we use uh, inside the package. And these are some, these are the, uh, the data sets that you find. There is some about uh, cars, some about bike share, Boston, brain cancer, like survival times for patients dying on your side with brain cancer. Um, many like even in the economy credit information about credit card debits uh, 10,000 customers uh, then I don't know gene expression measurements uh, and portfolio past values of financial uh, assets so th there's many many things that we will touch to uh, through the book club so as an example, uh, for example, this is the wage data. Uh, I have installed the package and uh, uh, loaded the package, the, the, the data set, the wage data set, and you see that uh, there is a year, age, um, there is a marital status, the race, education, uh, region, job class, the health, and um, the things that we are going to make is uh, an analysis of, for example, the wages using this data set. And these are uh, real life, uh, real world data um, in some points in time. And uh, for example, the, 
the first uh, um, let's see the, the first three um, visualization uh, provided in the book I just uh, like um, um, uh, like function of age and wage um, year and wage and education and wage and he's showing that uh, for example when the age um, as long as the age increase the wage uh, uh, shows an increase up until a certain um, age like 60 and then start decreasing and the most of the high wages are um, in the center part of the um, um, so between 40 and 60 years old and then is showing uh, comparing this this type of uh, visualization with a different one uh, when when we for example see we want to see how the wages uh, changed within the years uh, and from 2004 to 2008 we we see a slightly uh, steady increase and then finally if we compare wage with the the, the level of education we clearly see that the the highest uh, level of education is the highest, the wage is so then there is another um, he, he has made a, the example of these three data sets of three data sets which uh, are different from each other so this type of data the wage is predicting a continuous or quantitative output value so we have an output that we, we want to uh, predict and we value uh, it's a regression problem for example this we have continuous variable uh, a, or a quantitative output and uh, we are dealing with a regression problem instead the second uh, data set within the examples is the stock market data where we are predicting a categorical or quantitative output and the meaning that is um, we want to see if the market go up or goes down so it's a categorical problem uh, and uh, so we are dealing with classifications and so we want to predict whether the index will increase or decrease on a given day and we see that uh, the data set is this uh, it's called this market and uh, we have the year and the different lags so like the yesterday uh, like one one year after two sorry one day two days three days and then the volume um, and the, the the values for for the present day and then the outcome we want to achieve to see the want to predict we, to see if it will go up or down so the, the visualization he made is a box plot for this and he's saying that they uh, quite the same if, if we look at one day before two day before or three day before the day the, the present day and uh, so quite interesting to see the, the different type of visualization that are more, the most suitable for each of the problem we, we are looking at and then finally uh, I didn't make these ones because they are forward uh, within the book so this is uh, predicted probability uh, versus today's uh, direction so the market will go down or up with this uh, ever, um, median average uh, median value and with this like um, uh, variation uh, then finally the third set is a gene expression data 
and um, you cannot access this this data as you access all the other ones because it's like um, I show you what is that what is that this is the This is the data set, which is this one here. And uh, you, you can uh, access the, in, like selecting the uh, column names or, uh, as you always do, because it's not a data frame. If we see that this, uh, what class is this? It's a list, so um, you may be able to see that uh, inside there's two main lists, data and labs. If you select labs, you see all the things that you can, can extrapolate from the list. Uh, and there are genomes, genomes uh, with breast cancer, in, uh, ovarian, I don't know, colon, uh, leukemia, and so all, all the different things. You can even see uh, how the, the list is made, like this, and see that uh, this data, um, so that, that will be accessible uh, within the, the analysis that we, we will make. So we learn about all these things, how to, to deal with different type of data and to make different type of analysis. And um, have you got any questions? Uh, not so far. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I'm curious about you no, know, with cohort one ha already has the the book notes up in a in a like you know the GitHub associated with it, and I think that you know John was saying to add to use it so you don't have to start from scratch, but add to it. Is there like a plan for that? Like, because I can kind of imagine you know not wanting to just reproduce again the thing that already exists, or and also not wanting to necessarily make like minor changes to someone else's work but i could imagine there being maybe additional sections especially like additional examples or resources or like we were talking about if you use different data sets maybe you know you um you know pull that together and add it add another slide to the book with additional examples i can kind of imagine doing that but is there like a plan for how we use the the notes or how we add to that or have you added to this Already, um, I uh, I think we um, we are free to do whatever we want. Uh, our plan is that uh, if you like to, if you are working on uh, some data sets that you want to, uh, you would like to apply the techniques provided in the book. Uh, it would be nice to to see a different data set applying the same the same techniques. Because it doesn't doesn't change much the, the the kind of numbers. So if I do, for example, cancer, um, prostate cancer, or breast cancer, it doesn't change anything. Uh, it's the when I apply the same technique. Technique. So I I didn't uh, given um, didn't make much. Uh, it doesn't make much difference to me. I think that would be fine. To add some extra information, and you—I don't know if I uh, answered correctly the question. Um, there's many resources available, uh, and um, the the things that are found uh, are all more or less very uh, attached to the book. So that would be nice to expand it a bit. That makes what sense. What do you think? Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Also, also that there, there's a GitHub. You know, for the book club, uh, the ISLR. Uh, let me see. Uh, there's a chat here, right? Okay, good. Let me see if I can get it. 
Yeah, okay. I think there's one. Right. There's like a, one main GitHub for the R4DS community. And then you just need to click on. If, if you click on the notes, okay. the, the, the book club notes, and you, you find the. Um, um, okay. Okay. Let's so these see. are these are the notes for the yeah. the the book club, uh, and you when you go into Slack, uh, this is Slack, uh, and you go into the uh, book club uh, on the top of the book club. You see here. We got the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, the, there is um, mm, all okay. the, the things, and you right. can click. Uh, this is Tidy Models Lab. These are some solutions, and these are the notes. So you 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 say that you don't find the GitHub for the book club. Oh, we we but found it. it. Yeah, we found it. Yeah, the same time. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, yeah. <laughs> so that would be nice to 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 put it there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can we can add it on uh, on the on the on the bar of this lock. Yeah, why not? So this is the yeah uh, yeah this is the the GitHub, and we can add it there. There's a GitHub. We have that as well. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I suppose we can even move it. Yeah, Some, somehow. Like this, yeah. You find it easily, yeah. So um, I stopped sharing. I don't know if you want to share some some. Oops. Some other things or information. I don't know. Okay, so the uh, the recommended approach to this is to you know check check some of the information that the previous cohorts have done, and maybe we can add you know some you know some uh, real world experience or real world data set uh, to what has been you know been accomplished before. I think that will be a you know the best practice. I think, yeah, and and we don't have to re re reinvent the wheel because you know. Mm -hmm. These concepts, you know, they don't change that, that frequently. <laughs> you know, the foundations don't say that frequently. But the application maybe, maybe could, you know, you could you could get creative a little bit. <laughs> right. You find the in the pre pre uh, in the first court, uh, the the first uh, video with John, uh, it's um, an introductory of the book club, how it works and everything. Um, I, I didn't want to repeat all the things that he said. You you can, you find all the information about how it works and everything. Uh, basically, it's the, as the same as all the other book clubs. I don't know. This is this the, your first book club in the Afro Data Shines? Uh, for for me for me it is. Yeah, it can. Yes. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, and yes. <laughs> yeah, because I've I've yeah, seen. I, 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 I've I seen I've seen some videos of, you know, different book clubs, for example, the study models, et cetera, you know, to try to get some ideas. But uh, but this is my first, you know, <laughs> you know, active, <laughs> active participation. <laughs> so uh, it's very uh, simple, uh, mm -hmm. very sure. simple, simple, nothing. If, if you Are you inside the, the Slack, no? So inside the Slack, mm -hmm. you, yes. you, you, you just show up when it's, the, when it's time. And you have I didn't show I didn't I, I don't know if you if you know about this. If you if you go here, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so now uh, it's hide it. <laughs> Disappear, yeah. This is cohort to sign yep. up. 
Yeah. Uh, as you said, you may you already booked. Don't right. You? Yeah. Okay. I already volunteered so, for chapter three yeah. and chapter four. Eight. Yeah. So when when is the the epiphany? <laughs> the, right. Right. The, yeah. You 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 just uh, get ready for presenting <laughs> chapter three, and I think the the day after will be the lab. If if we able to. Uh, is that uh, Frederica? Are, are, are you in in the states or in Italy? I, I am in Italy. I am in Rome. Italy. Italy. In Rome. Hey, nice Coliseum, Coliseum <laughs> city. Yes. Yeah. I, I was there a, a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was it was very nice. It was it was it was, it was black, uh, you know, white. <laughs> okay, they clean it. <laughs> they clean the Coliseum. You know, ah, you know when I was there. Yes, now, uh, now big, big, big project yeah. of restoration and everything. Yeah, but it, 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 it looked really nice, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a certain number of years. They, they, they check. We have uh, re, uh, refurbished it. Yes. Right, it's right. Nice. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm just going to, you yeah. know, ask you if, if Epiphany, January 6th, is a, yeah. is a holiday in Italy, because in Puerto Rico, it, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not not in the US though. <laughs> not in the US. <laughs> so are you are you in the US? Uh yes, I'm I'm in Orlando right now. Orlando, Orlando Florida. Orlando. Or, Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Since 2006, yeah. I've been living here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good. I think that, that that's nice. Yeah. I I I just I just spent a couple of days because we were going to Florence and Venice, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we saw the Coliseum, we saw the Vatican Museum. Yep. Yeah, the whole the whole tour is, you know, that's <laughs> where. Yeah. <laughs> hello, Jim. You just. Uh... <laughs> yeah, hello. I, I uh, sorry, I, I, I was very late. It's it's my intention to 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 join with this with this cohort and work work through this book. I, I've I've um, I, I've been been meaning to take a deeper dive so i'm i'm really excited about this i'm uh, uh but a work conversation ran over so i i was delayed i'm uh i'm in the chicago area in in the u.s um central time um and uh and yeah so i'm i'm excited about uh working through this with with you and the examples and and uh maybe even can take a a, a part of a chapter these these are yeah. kind of deep but um, uh, uh, yeah, so I, I just, uh, uh, even though I'm late, I thought I would, I would step in really quickly and introduce myself and, and, and say hello and, and I'll see you in the, in the, in the coming weeks, I hope. Yeah, did, did you, did you uh, book for any of the chapters? Well, I've, I've, I've read the first um, three or so. Um, um, I really would like to go back and do the exercise, even though the, 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 to, to write this out in the way that the book clubs have done. I've, I've been part of the, uh, the Tidy Models book club. And, and I think before that, um, some time ago, r for ds So um, I think I understand the, uh, the, the, uh, the pattern. Um, but, uh, but yeah, these, this, this book is maybe a little more, um, say, challenging a little more meaty than than some of the previous ones i think this this uh this book is a, um, very interesting because it's the foundation from the ma machine learning so we apply some techniques uh, and we use like the techniques of uh, r for data science book tidy models if we want um mm -hmm. and uh, on real world data and if we follow the book we be able to to have a achieve a structure of what machine learning is about the, the different techniques and everything so it's it's a quite nice book and you uh, in the slack i don't know if you have seen um, the google sheet for booking for the chapters next week is open <laughs> in other words yeah <laughs> We're looking for a volunteer for next week. Yeah. <laughs> I volunteered for 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 a month out. I like I, use, I like to prepare. <laughs> but right, next right, week. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to, Jim? Do you want to do the the second chapter? Which is the uh, introduction. I don't know. I'm just asking. Don't worry. 
we won't throw any tomatoes, you know, you don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we can, you know, you know. <laughs> it's an introduction. Uh, you need you need to talk about supervised and supervised learning, what is regression, what is classification. Yeah, I think I could handle this. Um, okay, okay, all right, okay. So yeah, I, I have the Google Sheet open and I see what you're saying and yeah, okay, I could. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Jim. <laughs> Brownie points for you. Brownie points. <laughs> I think it's largely the, a theoretical chapter. Theoretical, I've, yeah. I've watched, I've watched the video for cohort one, which is like, a, I, I would recommend them. It's a really good discussion. They really get into some mm. like issues around like irreducible versus reducible error. There's like a really, mm -hmm. really meaty discussion around that. So it kind of lays that 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 kind of lays it out pretty well. But uh, um, there, there's some. Uh, I was thinking that we might, if we if we are not able to do the whole chapter in one session, we may take two session for for doing the the whole chapter or. We may choose to do the, the lab, mm -hmm. just give a, a, a little introduction about the theory, just a little bit, because mm -hmm. sometimes it may be annoying uh, saying all the things and just uh, jump on the lab, doing the, the practical things. I don't know, what do you think? If Do you prefer to do the theory or the, the practical part? Making practice the, analysis of the various data sets? It's, it's a good question. And, and I guess my intention had, had been to do more of the, the, the practical exercises and to walk through those, um, uh, which, which I have not done. So that's this weekend, I would commit to walking through those and, and uh, adding some memes and, and have something to, to talk about. Um, um, I, I, let me try to, to do the whole thing, the whole chapter two. Let me give that a go though. Um, I know it's, it's a lot of material, but let me, uh, let me see what I can do. <laughs> the chapter two lab is like an introduction to R. Right. And so I don't know whether we were planning on doing that exactly. But. That's where I'm, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. thinking we could speed through uh, a, a fair amount of that. Right. I uh, want to maybe see uh, the differences within uh, supervised and supervised when they uh, are applied uh, some examples that you can find uh, and then uh, jump onto the practical thing for making a, I don't know like a practical example of one of each yes exactly and then uh, as well as the regression and classification just as he did it I don't know if you have seen it but uh, in the notes then, then I will push the notes you see that he, in the first, in the introduction chapter, there are three sets that he, uh, uh, the, the authors uh, proposed uh, as uh, examples, and they are three different sets. So you can uh, see what is classification, what is uh, regression, what is uh, also the other thing, when is linear, when is not linear. I mean, you know, maybe not focusing that as much on the labs makes it easier for next week. But, you know, one other idea would be I wouldn't like hate like an introduction to like tidy models. I don't know if, you know, you all are, I'm planning on using the tidy models, um, Emile's version. Um, I forget what that's called in the, in the Slack, but, um, and, you know, I've used tidy models, but I'm not, I don't know that super well. So, I mean, you know, like, so an introduction to that or, or just to kind of how it will work within the context of this book. So then in chapter three, it's already like, 
linear regression and you know so there's not like formally a tidy models introduction per se it's just let's let's get let's get started with some linear regression yeah right you're right i i had planned to to uh, uh grab heavily from from emil's work um mm -hmm. uh, i, 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 I <laughs> just want to confirm i mean I, I still want the satisfaction of running it in my own right our studio right. but right. uh <laughs> um and, and then changing a few things but uh that it's it's a wonderful boilerplate uh, uh absolutely yeah well one thing that came up earlier in our discussion too is, is like using other data sets you know so you can always like you know, use emil's syntactic <laughs> sets too if you want to you know yeah okay sounds like fun Great. i'll um uh, I'll, I'll, that's that's my weekend project then. <laughs> <laughs> You're busy. <laughs> it's all good. You'll make it, you'll make it. <laughs> Positive. <laughs> all right. So let's see. I think um, we still have 10 minutes left. If we want to, I don't know, because it's oh, with 10 minutes left left um we can see some some examples <clears throat> see that jim wasn't here so in the <clears throat> These are some uh, solutions, for example, chapter two, uh, the, this eight, nine, ten are the applied sol solutions. So in this case, he uses, for example, data college. And then, so we may, may be nice to go through the exercises as well, as well since we have the, the, the solution, so it doesn't take much time. Just to present and say what, what, what they are, what is inside. And what else I wanted to, to show, I don't, this is a presentation of the authors. And uh, where is the, there is a list uh, of all the type of uh, uh, statistical learning problems. Yeah. They are presented in the book. And I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, um, for example, interested in the principal components and understanding the, the differences mm -hmm. within uh, supervised and unsupervised learning within the principal components, mm. for example. Mm. And then there is a, I don't know if you know the, uh, the website, there is a website, um, where is it? There's a website where you can, um, where the book is um, um, basically all the models used in the book are translated in uh, tidy models. Mm -hmm. This is from right. Emil Hitfield. Yep. I don't know how. Yep. Is this one here? in the chat. <clears throat> well, all the videos and uh, this this would be uh, interesting to see as well. Ah, okay, so this is the statistical learning and there you find the second chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, but he does 
basically the, 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 the statistical learning chapter which is this uh, it's more an explanation in, uh, an introduction of the thing you say what is statistical learning uh, and the various uh, function use it what is supervised and supervised some of the, bi the bias variants and then there is the lab the lab yeah. is the introduction yeah oh. I, I think we can get through this in an hour given yeah. given the, the source material that's available yeah we can jump the, the introduction mm -hmm. I think yeah yeah okay so I guess it's all for for the introductory uh, meeting.